Welcome to the stage. Me say, I call myself the indie mom of comedy. Is that all right? That means that I refuse to lose my swagger behind some children and a husband. I refuse. <laughs> or I'm not gonna lose my swag behind no husband and no kids. And I can look in this audience and see that some of y'all, <laughs> y'all just gave up. You just, you just let it go. You just, you just gave up. I'm an indie mom, independent, innovative, still got my swagger, and I know how to hold it down. Ladies, if you're a mother, make some noise. If you're a mother in this building tonight. Yes. And I know even though we love each other, we celebrate now Centennial. Some of y'all mad because I'm cute. I feel it. I feel it in my spirit, in my gut. Some of y'all mad because I'm cute. Yes. The reality is this, y'all, this is the reality. To be an indie mom, you gotta hold on to yourself, gotta hold on to your swagger, gotta get good equipment, gotta get a good bra, good bra. <laughs> See some real raggedy bras in here tonight. I'm telling you, some of these bras in here look like they on their last leg. Looking at y'all and your, your titties look like pirates. Ah. You got bipolar disorder. I feel good. I feel bad. I feel good. I feel bad. This sound like, hey! This sound like, I don't even want to be. Gotta get yourself a good bra, boo. Gotta get yourself a Spanx. Give it up for Spanx. Spanx makes stuff look smooth. Cause you know, after you had some children, stuff ain't smooth no more. Yeah, I know y'all wondering how I got so tight. I just smoked just a little bit of crack, just a little bit. I don't smoke crack. No more, I don't smoke crack no more. It just got side effects, that whole wanting it more and more. That's a bad look, can't do that, that's not sexy. And so my, my, my intention is to in, inspire all the mothers that you can still look like the girlfriend. The girlfriend out, she always out. Think about it, the girlfriend always get to leave. The wife home making grilled cheese. And I be looking at my kids and their father, all three of them, right? Look at my three kids and their father, and sometimes I just stop and I say, I can't believe all four of y'all was inside of me at some point in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And one of them's still trying to get inside of me. Just look at them and I just be like, I love all of them, but I just, just leave me alone, please. <laughs> but just look at your children and just be like, go away. Why are you here? I mean, I love you, but come on now. Try my, I'm trying to mind my business. Asking you bogus questions. Why does the sky have clouds? And you know, black women, we put everything, everything. When we don't know something, everything is on Jesus. Everything. Don't we? we Jesus did everything. He paid it all, didn't he? Because Jesus put them clouds up there. Truth of the matter is, ladies, I love my children. I do. I just, I'm just glad they're not here right now. That's all I'm saying. I'm looking at my son and I like this little boy. He's a cool dude. He's pretty smart. Uh, six years old. He's the last of the Mohicans after him. That thing is nothing. It's nothing else happening. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing else happening. Trust me when I tell you. And, and, and the thing is, I love this little boy, but, 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 he, but he talk a whole lot. But when it's time for him to be smart, he dumb. You understand what I'm saying? Like, no, my son can recite the 42 negative confessions, the 42 laws of my eye, okay? My son can recite the Ten Commandments, okay? My son knows the Lord's Prayer, but around about two in the morning, when he need to be smart, this dude is SpongeBob SquarePants. And he ain't even SpongeBob, he Patrick, the dumb straw. You know, the star. Because I minding my business. This is what I'm not, I'm not, I'm asleep. This dude, you ever been asleep and you just feel somebody breathing on your neck? Like lightweight stalking you? He breathing on my neck, now his father is right there in the bed, right there in the bed, right there in the bed. This 
dude walked in my side. Stop looking for husbands in church. Because there's some beautiful men of God in church. Yes. Yes. Beautiful men of God. But honey, they looking for husbands too. So get in line. Look, that's my time. I'm Michelle. 